What's up, podcast? This is Coach Colt and Zion. If you're watching the video, you can clearly see that. If you're listening to the audio only, then you can find our YouTube channel at Skull Bells TV. That is S K U L L B E L L Z. That is all one word. So thanks everybody so much for joining. The background music that you're listening to is a vinyl record <laughs> uh, that I picked up from a used record store, like most of our used co collection. But this is. Uh, Aerosmith Live Bootleg. So, uh, a, a very underrated album in my opinion. It did not get very good reviews with the with the critics at the time, but it is a very very good album. So, how do you recommend that? All right, let's get in, right into the episode. This is still, by the way, our show is your daily dose of entertainment, education, inspiration to fuel your life inside and beyond the gym. Uh, so. This episode is inspired by uh, Taylor's last episode. Um, I listened to it pre-workout. I didn't even listen to it before I published it. That's how busy we've been. Uh, January is a very, 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 very busy uh, month typically for fitness professionals, I'm sure that you can imagine. So I uh, listened to it pre-workout, got my workout in, and I just could not believe how amazing of a job she did with her first solo episode. So if you haven't listened to episode 111 with Taylor's big announcement, yeah, she's going to do a bodybuilding show. So uh, if you haven't listened to that, you should go check that out. My wife, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's what she committed to. So I felt super inspired to um, go ahead and share my commitments. And these are all commitments that we made at the start of the year. <laughs> uh, fun story, actually at about 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning um, on January 1st of this new year. Zion and I were out for, I don't even know how far we went. We ran for about an hour and a half, but uh, we decided, you know what? I think it's time we do a marathon. So I'm dead serious. We are doing a marathon together um, and we're open to other ideas besides mar marathons too. Ironman, uh, tri uh, tri triathlons, you know, there's lots of different lo lots of different things that we're looking at. One of them is, uh, you know, around the best time I'm thinking to be able to do this marathon is gonna be um, like around July or August. So if that's the case, then that's gonna be my wife's and my 10 year anniversary. And if she does the November shows that she talked about on her last episode, then um, that would put her at about three months out. So that might be kind of tight and pushing it. Um, in that case, we might look at um, having her step on stage for the Emerald Cup next year. So that'd be about, um, oh, 14 months from now that'd be a bit easier of a prep. So anyway, that's that's the story on the, on, on the marathon. I'll give a, little, give a little more backstory and I'm actually gonna get into exactly what my training looks like and has been looking like for this marathon, knowing full well that I'm a bodybuilder. I'm not gonna compete this year um, and I'm actually gonna take several years off. There's a couple reasons for that, which I'll, which I'll get into later, uh, but still a bodybuilder, don't worry. Still wanna become an IFBB pro <laughs> and uh, we'll get it, we'll get it, right? Right, girl? Yeah. All right. So that's, yeah. Pre oh, and, and by the way, Mimi, if you're listening to this, uh, Mimi is one of our new clients out in New Jersey and we might be doing this one together. So that would be super cool if, uh, if, if, we, if we were all in uh, either California, like along the coast. I know there's a lot of good ones over there. Um, and there's some good half marathons in, in, in uh, Hawaii that she was telling us about. So uh, we might make it we might make it like a group thing if anybody else wants to do a marathon go ahead and go ahead and let me know hey Julie thanks a lot for, for joining uh, yeah any questions that you got about the carnivore diet or about oh training or anything uh, feel free to ask away all right I'm recording a podcast right now but uh, yeah all right so uh, my, my second commitment of the year in addition in addition to running a marathon with this sweet little girl is gonna be uh, being 99% strict carnivore and when I say 99% strict carnivore, what I mean by that is uh, things like avocados, uh, keto bricks, and even sweet potatoes if I'm doing more of a high carb approach. That's, that's, that's our hybrid model where, you, uh, where you're in ketosis, you still get your sufficient protein, and you're eating sweet potatoes right before you go to bed because it slows down the insulin response. So it's kind of been my hack to include carbs on a ketogenic diet. And if you do it right, you can really get the best of both worlds. I'm not doing that right now, um, but here and there, whenever I feel like it's time to bulk or if I'm feeling flat, a couple weeks of adding some carbs in has been uh, definitely doing my, my body a lot of justice. So anyway, uh, yeah, and then my last commitment is to maintain current body composition throughout the entire year, which of course with all the cardio that we're doing uh, should not be a problem. 
Um, why do I do so much cardio? I do way more cardio than I recommend anybody else does. The reason is because being a fitness professional, um, I'd ra I have so much to do on my iPhone that I would rather be moving while I'm doing it than like sitting down or on the couch. <laughs> Uh, I work for myself, right? And so it doesn't really matter where I'm at. I might as well be. I might as well be walking. I do my best thinking while I'm walking. So by the end of the day, it's not uncommon that I'll do like an hour or two, uh, sometimes even three or four hours of, I guess what you might call cardio, but it's very, very low intensity. So uh, anyway, the amount of cardio that I'm doing has just got me into. Uh, it's got me into great shape as far as cardiovascular health goes, and with the ketogenic diet. Um, have, having two to 300 grams fat a day plus has been helpful in maintaining um, healthy cortisol levels and, and, make, and making sure that my body knows that it's burning fat as its primary, primary fuel source and not muscle and not carbs because we're not eating carbs at the moment. So a uh, couple announcements that we, need, that we need to share. First one is deltoid desolators. They're now $65. We've had, we've had to increase the price just a little bit because we're using some more materials. They're 10 times cooler than they were before uh, because we're making everything made to order. So uh, we've, we, we, we've, we've just been having so many orders that I've been behind and telling everybody like, hey, it's gonna be a five or six day lead time. Hey, it's gonna be a five or six day lead time. But it's allowed me the opportunity to go, okay, well, if we don't have anything in stock and we're making everything to order then, because we can only make them so fast. They take a couple days to cure, even after you do, even after we do the shop work. Um, and these are our, our our long cable attachments, by the way. If you haven't seen these things, these are really cool. Check them out on our website, supersetyourlife.com. But uh, making them made to order, we've been making them in swirly colors. We've been putting all kinds of different sparkles in them, and so if they're super catchy, um, as far as far as, as as far as like how you see them. Uh, but what, the, what this product is, again, if you're unfamiliar, is an extra long rope cable attachment because I've been the jerk <laughs> at the gym for, um, for basically most of my bodybuilding, the time that I've been bodybuilding. Boy, this girl is just like all over me right now. We haven't seen each other all day. So, minus the workout. But boy, oh boy, if you get an Australian Shepherd, try going to the bathroom alone. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> uh, but you're never lonely. That's a wonderful thing. It's definitely a blessing. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown on deltoid desolator cable attachments at the moment. Um, so if you see something that's out of stock for the time being, go ahead and just shoot me a text, 206-743-1346, and say, hey, I want to check out one of those cable attachments. And then what we do is uh, show you what the order looks like, and if you like it, great, then you can buy it. If not, I'll freaking use it. Uh, it'll make a nice birthday gift or something for somebody <laughs> um, that, 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 we, that we can give to somebody else. So don't worry about that. But yeah, all right. So that's the rundown on the deltoid desolators and then salt samples. Um, those are going to be included with every online purchase uh, available upon request. And so if you want samples of salt, just let me know what you want. And uh, if it's Celtic sea salt, if it's, if it's the Mac Eye Pure Finishing Salt, Something you haven't tried before, something you like on our website, just let me know and uh, I'll hook you up big time, okay? Uh, I think we have a few more samples left of the Mackay Pure Hawaiian Salt. This stuff is imported and sourced uh, from Hawaii and it is the best salt I have ever had in my entire life. That's how much I like it and uh, I pretty much have it every day too, so. All right, um, 2023 Vision. This is the vision that, um, that Taylor and I have, but this is coming from my mouth right now, so. Uh, first one is to get Taylor into the best shape of her life. And that's what she's going to look like when she steps on stage, you know. Uh, she's not going to get bone shredded. She's doing the wellness category, so it's going to be a great way for her to get her feet wet and for her to be able to decide whether she wants to take it to the next level and do women's physique and, uh, and, 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 and full-on women's bodybuilding. And she knows that she could be extremely competitive in it. It's just a matter of whether it's worth it or not, you know what I mean? So. Like looking back on this last year, for example, I did four shows in, 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 a, in a time period of two months. And that is just way too much. It's, it's way more than I would recommend that anybody does. It was extremely hard on my body, suffered a lot of injuries. And um, doing one show is an absolutely amazing experience. And so anybody can do one show, but to do that many of them back to back, uh, I would personally never recommend. So you're probably wondering why I did it. <laughs> For, uh, well, the reason is because we had clients that were doing all these shows. So if I'm gonna go to the show, it actually cost 
like basically just as month for me to just go and compete, especially if I'm already in reasonable uh, re reasonable contest shape, and then um, and then and then compete as an athlete and not have to go backstage as a coach. So uh, so so it becomes a win-win. And, and then it gave me four different opportunities to experiment with what the carnivore diet would look like and uh, different peaking protocols using fat refeeds, using high protein refeeds, and using the high carb refeed, which, uh, which if you haven't seen my content on that, basically what the high carb refeed did was it made, it made me, uh, it, it made me much bigger, it made me noticeably bigger, so I was able to get fifth place at, at, at our last show. I was able to actually place, I didn't think I would place at that one, so we were pretty pleased with that. Um, but f filled out, filled out big, yeah, gained a little bit of water weight, um, over, overnight, basically, and, uh, and that's the great thing about the ketogenic and, and, and the, and, and the carnivore diet is if you're peaking on either of those protocols, it's relatively easy to be, uh, dry, dry and hard and very, very striated to have that paper thin skin look on, uh, when you, when you step on stage. So that is, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal for Taylor. <laughs> is to get her into the best, into the absolute best shape of her life. Uh, hey, what's up, bro? Thanks a lot for joining. Close down, guy. It's been a long time since we've talked. How you guys doing? Uh, dude, uh, D D DJ Keto. Sorry, it's been a long day. I'm spacing on your name, brother, but uh, we need to have you over for dinner like within the next few days. All right, we're super busy right now, but I'll, but I'll let you know soon. Okay, 90% uh, of, and thanks for your Skull Bells order too, by the way. Let me know how that one's been treating you, if you wouldn't mind. Matt McGee, what's up, bro? Excited for you to start your program on Monday. You've been crushing it. Uh, all right. So, yeah, 90% of our YouTube channel, uh, our YouTube channel this year, the, per, the, the, the goal is to have 90% of our content uh, to feature athletes and not me. Uh, when you do this, I've done 12 bodybuilding shows and, uh, and, and, and have recorded content before and after and during pretty much every sing single show. And it can really mess with your head because it's a lot of focus on yourself. So, uh, hell yeah, love the cable attachment. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, bro. And, uh, and, and and your name, it's just because I'm recording and so I'm spacing on your name. But uh, Dakota, duh. I don't know why it, 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 it didn't come to me just then. Sorry about that, bro. So you've probably noticed this trend that's been happening on our YouTube channel. And what that has been looking like has been uh, trying to feature more of our athletes and less and less of me. So I want to have Taylor on there like every other video. Uh, we've had a lot of Carly, Carly lately. We've had a lot of Jarrett lately, the, the last couple um, competitors. Um, Melanie, Lawrence, you know, it's like anybody that I'm training that's in competition shape or close to competition shape that's, uh, that has a good physique and is comfortable on camera. Um, and especially if they, if they have aspirations to to, to do any kind of online coaching or uh, grow their social media account. Um, that's, that's kind of what we're here for is to use our platform to, to showcase others, to showcase other people's success. I'm sick of having content of me on our channel. Uh, we want to get more of you guys, more, more of our, more, more of, more of our team. Cool. So that's the goal for YouTube this year and our podcast. Uh, we're going to be at 200 episodes. That's been a, that's, that's, that's been, it's not our money maker, but it's been a great way for us to get our message out and to help build our brand over this last year. And it's all been 100% organic, and so praise God for that. And thank you all for everybody that's been sharing, everybody that's been listening to this show. It's really, really been helping the algorithms a lot. So thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, Skull Bells Barbell Launch. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be la we're gonna be launching barbells this year, and they're gonna be straight. So it's a straight barbell, not the curl bars like you see on our website. Um, and they're going to have the Ezekiel skull. So if you don't know the story, these uh, th these skulls were designed by one of our former clients, um, and the teeth actually look exactly like my teeth. So uh, fun fact about them. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be the new skull-shaped barbells. And uh, yeah, if you want updates on that, I mean, if you're following either of our social media accounts, which is either Skull Bells or at Colt Milton. Um, th those are our Instagram accounts. You'll be able to, you you'll, you'll definitely, you'll definitely be in the loop when we get these out. Um, or you can subscribe to our newsletter. Just shoot me an email, colt at supersetyourlife.com. Or you can just go to our website and there's a way to subscribe to our newsletter there. Right. Uh, Skull Bells booth at the Emerald Cup in, uh, in, in, in Bellevue, Washington. That's going to be in April. We have a few competitors that are going to be doing that show. And so the goal is to have a, is to have a booth and, and to be rocking and rolling with all of our, New swag, new gear at that time. 
Um, and so if we could do that at the Emerald Cup this year and at NPC Northwest Championships uh, November of 2023, which again could be Taylor's first show, um, and it was and it was the, sh the same show that I did last year. It was the very last one that I did. Uh, very very good show, hands down the the best experience that I've ever had as a competitor doing a show. Of all the twelve shows that I've done was was that last one. Very professionally ran. The costs weren't at, weren't were not astronomical, um, and there were a ton of people there. The trophies were were super cool. Um, every single trophy was different. That like you, like the trophy that you got looked different than somebody else's. And uh, I think that's kind of cool because we're all created in God's image and we're all created unique. And so the fact that all the hundreds of competitors that were there got their own unique trophy that looked different than somebody else's, I thought was super cool. So um, yeah, we want to have booths at, uh, at, the, at, the, at those two locations. That's the goal. We'll see if we can have them done by then. All right. And then uh, tripling our income this year. We plan on tripling our income. And a lot of that is gonna come from uh, rehiring our business coaches that helped us get off the ground and, and take our, uh, our, our, our fitness coaching, our bodybuilding coaching, and, and make a professional business model out of it. Cause that's what we do full time now, in addition to Skull Bells. Uh, so if, if, you're, if, if you're an online coach or if you wanna be an online coach, I don't get paid for saying this or anything, but we've referred a lot of people <laughs> to these business coaches. They are very, very good. They are believers in Jesus Christ. If that means anything to you, it means a lot to me. And so that's why, that's one of the reasons why we connect so well with uh, Chris and Eric Martinez. But yeah, if you want, if you want their information, I'm going to put it in the show notes and uh, go, go, go ahead and feel free to reach out to me about how our experience has been with them. But they're very, very good coaches. There's a lot of people that are telling you that they can help you make money. And uh, these people are genuine. They're really, really good. They're identical twins. Uh, check out their podcast, the Dynamic Lifestyle Podcast. Really, really good. Uh, they, they, and they got like three or four episodes a week. It's crazy. But binge listening to their show through uh, has gotten me through a lot of competitions and a lot of cardio sessions. <laughs> They're a high, high, high energy couple guys and uh, and extremely helpful. So doing great work. All right. We're gonna be pushing the podcast hard. Yep, already talked about that. And we're gonna be, oh, outsourcing our coaching is the next project that they're helping us with. And so instead of Taylor and me doing everything together, there's some uh, there's some workout plans that I write and there's some that she writes depending on who she tends to connect with better. I mean, some people just click better with Taylor than they do with me and that's okay, I don't take it personal. <laughs> uh, but she, but yeah, she's, she's written a couple of her workout plans. I always double check it and, uh, and we've been doing everything together. But it's a lot for two people, so we're gonna be outsourcing coaching and uh, probably starting with a few of our clients that have done recent competitions. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see you go from there. Chris and Eric know what the plan is. <laughs> so just had just had a good powwow with them a couple days ago and uh, set some goals and some business plans for this next year of 2023. All right, uh, so the marathon training split. This is what my personal training looks like as of now. Um, Monday, so it's essentially a bodybuilding split uh, with lots of cardio, lots of running, and it's, it's, it's a lean bulk split with lots of cardio, lots of running, and oh, and, uh, and, 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 a, and a big modification to what I've been preaching for a long time is I'm only training legs once a week right now, but when I train legs, I'm training hard. I just can't recover, especially after this hip injury. Uh, basically, the way that my hip just got injured was by, was by, was by running a lot. And then doing and, and then doing heavy low bar squats, which is extremely stressful on your hip, and uh, and and so I'm gonna have to be backing off the weight quite a bit. Um, I could already feel my, my hip flaring up because this has been injured before several years ago, and now and and and, and the day after I did those heavy squats, I just I, I just I just couldn't even move. That's how bad my hip hurt. Um, couldn't do a body weight squat, and so I had to take some time and get creative and do other types of cardio, but. It's feeling a little bit better every day. <laughs> um, Psalm 147.3, God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's nine words. So something that I've been doing, if, if you're familiar with muscle and meditation, if you've been following me on social media, we've been doing something called muscle and meditation. Uh, what you do instead of counting to nine reps, if you're doing an exercise that's nine reps, or if you're doing like an exercise that's um, 12 reps, this one would also work. If you're using the ESV translation, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's nine 
that's nine words. And so then say Psalm 147, three, and uh, which, which, is the, which is the passage that this, that this is from. And what that does is instead of just counting to 12, like everybody knows how to do, it ingrains that scripture in your mind. Um, it hardwires it in there. And so whenever you need that extra encouragement or, 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 or you want to meditate and you don't have a copy of the Bible or, or something with you, um, bam, it's right there and it's handy because you put in the time to memorize it. Uh, so I've been doing that throughout my workouts and it's, it's amazing how I feel better by the end of the workout um, because I'm really calling upon the Holy Spirit and I'm really calling upon God while I'm working out in the middle of my workout. Um, instead of just counting reps, if that makes sense. And even if you're, and even if you're not fully engaged mentally in the scripture that you're using during that workout, um, it, it, st it still programs your subconscious mind. And so it helps you to memorize and it helps you to internalize the, those, those scriptures and to, and to do something with it and to live it out. So hope that makes sense and I hope you're hearing my heart on that one. Um, anyway, yeah, so the, so the training split that I'm doing right now Monday is push day and it's heavy. I'm doing three days at, at three days at home, uh, which is Skull Bell's gym, with his, which is this gym here that I'm that I'm currently recording in, and uh, and then two days at the gym and then one day back at home and then going for a long run on Sundays. Uh, so uh, as busy as we are, I don't have time for super long workouts. So I've gone so far as to go more Dorian Yates style. If you haven't listened to Dorian Yates's interview with Joe Rogan. He talks about how even when he was training for Mr. Olympia, he only trained for four days a week at 45 minutes per session. So because of that, um, I've been inspired to shorten my workouts to 25 working sets, but those 25 working sets are no joke. Um, like I can't move after the end of, after the end of them. That's how, that's how hard we go. Every single set is pretty much to failure and I've been seeing better muscle growth doing doing shorter workouts, um, doing more of my training with this style. I also do a lot of cardio again, so there's really no reason for me to just uh, spend more time working out than I need to for the sake of burning extra calories. As long as I'm making sure that I stimulate those muscle fibers enough to be able to, to, be able to grow muscle even while in a deficit, that's possible to do. Because um, the only things that you need to build muscle are a stimulus, water, protein, and sleep. It's the only four things that you need. And, and, that, and that fuel source uh, can come from carbs, it can come from protein, it can come from fat, where, wherever, wherever, what, whatever works best for you. Everybody's different. Uh, one size doesn't fit all, I guess is what I'm getting at. So then I'm burning plenty of calories throughout the day and still on track for my marathon training. Um, so that's what Monday looks like. Monday is heavy push day. Tuesday is heavy pull day. Wednesday is heavy leg day. Um, and high rep leg day. So again, training legs once a week, putting everything into one day, getting the most bang for my buck there. And then Thursday has been uh, push light. So I'm doing all high reps at that point. I'm kind of tired and burnt out. Joints are all hurting by that point. Uh, Friday, pull light, same thing. And this is at Cath uh, Cascade Athletic Club here in Camas, just down the road. I put vaso burn on on my lower abs, which is definitely the most stubborn part where I tend to hold body fat. So I'll do that uh, just once a week. I do it more often on contest prep, but I'm just trying to stay lean year round. I'm not gonna step on a stage anytime soon at all. Um, I, li I wanna stay lean because I like being lean. I don't like how I feel when I'm over 200 pounds, so I'm in no rush to go into a crazy bulk. And I really I, I really just enjoy being lean. Some, I mean, some people like so, some, some people like having motorcycles. Some people like uh, some, some people like wearing nice clothes. I like to have muscles and look lean, <laughs> and I like to I like to look to look like that. And feel like you're, that that year round. If that's vanity, then um, I don't know. I guess it's vanity. But be fair though, and compare it to compare it to someone that drives a motorcycle. Which motorcycles are freaking cool, by the way. <laughs> um, and you know, and and, co and compare it to someone that puts a lot of time into their makeup and their face or or, or whatever. I guess this is just. Uh, cosmetically what looks and feels right to me and, uh, and, and what, what I personally enjoy. So that's the nice thing about the carnivore diet and the keto diet is I find it um, uh, much easier than on a high carb diet personally to be able to sustain that lifestyle year round. So yeah, this, this year is, is more so the year of lifestyle. Uh, last year was the year of intensity and winning at all costs. That's not the goal this year. <laughs> That'd be a very bad idea this year. All right, especially, yeah, if, you, if you've listened to if you listen to the story on on Robert Sykes' episode, uh, the Keto Savage podcast, 
I mean, I talked about all the injuries there, everything that everything that took place during this prep. And our YouTube channel, we've got lots of vlogs with everything. But it's been a crazy year, and uh, I'm glad to be done competing just for a little while. But super amped to get Taylor on stage for that one show. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it as far as this training split goes. Oh, which brings me to Saturday. So I'm basically in a maintenance uh, kind of uh, uh, semi-deficit. I'm definitely in a deficit towards the end of the week because I do a little extra cardio and a little bit of extra abs, make sure I get a good sweat at the gym. Um, so by that point is a perfect time for a refeed. So that's our date night. And that's when we'll have steaks. We'll, uh, if, 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 I if, if, I'm, if I'm eating carbs at the time, then great. Uh, maybe we can go out and do something fun. But um, I'm, it definitely knocks me out of ketosis. So Saturdays are just not an optimal time to do a whole lot of cardio, right? Uh, if your cortisol levels are high, which mine have been because I've been lacking sleep because of my injury, it's, it's been so painful, it's been basically making it impossible for me to sleep some nights. Uh, but, be, but, be, but between that and... Crap, where was I going with that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it's... Um, cardio is going to be ineffective for me on Saturdays, not being in ketosis and, and having and, and, and just kind of being stressed and done, and, and done with the week at that point anyway, that um, my, my workouts are usually 50 plus working sets um, because, I'm, because I have so much glycogen, I might as well put it to use in the gym. So that's what I've been focusing on, like my weak points, uh, rear deltoids, forearms. Uh, what else did we do today? Got my whole workout written out right here, actually, that we just did today. Uh, pro tip, if you're, if you're filling out a workout logbook, have a tab on where you did that same workout before and then put a sticky note tab on the day that you're currently writing on. So then you can flip back and forth and make sure that you're making steady progress from uh, where you're at the, 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 the time before you did that exact workout. So yeah, t today we started with triceps. Uh, I like to start with triceps, especially because I have a bad shoulder dislocated at playing hockey several, several years ago. Uh, so I like to get blood going through my arms typically on upper body days. And then uh, and by, by the time that I get blood going through my shoulders, like to get to my triceps, it warms up my shoulders enough to where then I can start doing shoulder work, uh, which is important because shoulders are a particular weak point of mine. All right, so yeah, then did, did, did some push downs, then did 10 sets of a reverse grip chest press. I like the reverse grip uh, chest decline press I did on this machine here. It's a master press. Uh, basically, it imitates, oh, it's kind of like a Smith machine at the gym, but it has two arms that converge together, so you get a better range of motion. Uh, and this is what we have here at home. You can hit pretty much every body part on this thing. This is the machine that I dropped on my foot, by the way. <laughs> if you've listened to my interview on the, on the Robert Sykes show, uh, excuse me, on the Keto Savage show, we talked a lot about that. And it basically put me out of commission for... Uh, for, 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 for a good month or two, if I remember correctly, on, um, on being able to squat and deadlift. So definitely had a setback there, but thankfully I was able to rebuild a lot of that muscle mass before, this, before the season was over, um, once it healed up. So, all right. Yeah, so that, so that was, yeah, 10 sets of that, and then uh, dump, dumbbell skull crushers, three sets of 10, and then master press seated behind the neck presses, 10 sets of that. <laughs> Five sets of dumbbell hammer curls, four sets of caber curls, five sets of upright rows, and 10 sets of calves. Uh, because of the hip injury, I wanted to get a lot of blood going uh, into, into my calves, and of course it has to go through my hip to get to the calves, and so it always feels better when I do it that way. Nobody taught me that, it just makes sense, and uh, it's kind of what works for me. So try it if you have an injury, uh, but check with your doctor first, okay? <laughs> All right, and then Sundays we just go for a super long run. So. Um, that, that's just waking up first thing, uh, it, especially if it's cold, that's been, w w when you're running in the cold, this is something that we typically do every morning, depending on how my feet and how my hips are, are doing, but uh, it's great for Zion, it's great for me, it's therapeutic, I find running very therapeutic, I get some of my best thoughts, my deepest thoughts, most meditative experiences, um, after I hit that runner's high, and if you've ran long distance, you know exactly what I'm talking about, what that, what that runner's high is, so... Yeah, super excited to train for a marathon this year and, and do something different. You know, it's just it's just like what Taylor was talking about. She's got a competitive itch. I have a competitive itch. <laughs> uh, by no means am I uh, hoping to be competitive at all during this marathon. I'm just hoping to finish. I'm just gonna finish it and check that box. Check that box so I can go great. 
did bodybuilding on a carnivore diet, did marathon running on a carnivore diet, what's next? So that's pretty much the goal. That's all we have to talk about on this episode. Hope that it was helpful. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining me on this one for the entire thing. Um, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, please. That really, really helps the algorithm. And uh, we want to keep this growth organic, keep this momentum going, and keep serving you guys in the best way that we can. Whatever it is that you want to hear, if you want to hear from more bodybuilders, if you want more, um, if you want more nutritional-based content, if you want more training-based content, let us know, okay? We're here to serve you and uh, help your fitness journey be as, as, as healthy, as fun, and as sustainable long-term so that you can make this a lifestyle. Groovy? <laughs> All right, have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Much love.